Take one. Hi guys, welcome to Chu Chow Mukbang. This is so episode three with Steph and Kat. And today we are reviewing two one three one burgers. I don't know where they're actually from. They're somewhere close by, but they are massive. Yeah, <laughs> it, it just so happens we got a black one and a red one. I didn't think your one will come up with red. a red bun. Yeah. yeah. Um, I wonder if it's beetroot. Like, like beetroot I don't know, but bun these burgers look how big. Yeah, it's pretty that hefty. Is. I look can't really pick them up. How big that <laughs> is. And really chunky chips. Like, yeah. Look at the size of that. Oh, and they're really crispy. Yeah. Boing! Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I haven't had, I don't think you have had this burger before. No, I haven't. So, this is gonna be a first impressions burger eating thing, so you can see our reaction. And yeah, can't wait to dig in. So mm. Mm. let's get started. Yeah, let's do it. Alright. So in NZ there's a burger joint called I forgot what it's called, but they offer you a doofer. A doofer is like a cardboard box that you can put your burger in and so it stops everything from sliding out. And you should definitely bring it over here. Alright, let's go. So I've got the um Crab burger, so soft that's a soft shell crab with a charcoal bun, um, and then a sriracha mayo um, coleslaw uh, with coriander, I think. And I've got a veggie burger, so it's got onion rings, a veggie patty, tomato, lettuce, sauce, avocado, and an onion ring in there. So, ching, ching. let's go. I can't see it. Good. Mmm. 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 It's a nice flavor. There's a hash brown in here. Yeah, that bit there. Look at the legs. Mm. Another leg. Let me get the legs first. I've decapitated it. Oh, I okay, know. It only applies when you decap decapitate the head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where the head is for <laughs> crab. Mm. Look how black that black bun is. The first time I come across a, um, a charcoal or ink or black bun is when I was in Japan. They had it at... um. Does it taste charcoal though? No, it just tastes like a normal bun. I don't know what they put in it. Squid ink? But it doesn't taste like squid ink. We'll definitely have to go through a squid ink pioneer one day. It's so good. Mmm. Mmm. <clears throat> Beverage of choice for today is kombucha. And I have a grape cane sugar. Mine's made in the States from New York. Um, and mine is made... Oh, mine's made in Morty Alec. So that's the beach area in Victoria. Love that place. Mm. <laughs> Did not go to the gym today. <laughs> wow, that's sweet. Mm. Tastes like grape. This, <clears throat> this kombucha is organic, apparently, and the taste is apple crisp. So it tastes like apple cider. Very, very, very nice. Goes well with the burger. Mmm. Nice citrus flavour. I actually really like my burger, how it doesn't have cheese. Um, sometimes I feel like when it's deep fried and then you have cheese in it, it makes it a bit much. Um, how's yours? Does yours have cheese? Mine's got cheese, yeah. Double cheese. So it's not really a vegetarian burger then, because I think vegetarian don't eat. Oh wait, that's it's... vegan. Oh yeah. Mmm. Look how crispy the chips are. And how long did it take it to get here? Mmm. So we use it at um, Uber Eats, and similar to Deliveroo and Fedora here in Australia, 
and so you just go on your app you order your food and you can actually track your order and how long it takes so this one I think it was probably two or three suburbs suburbs away ordered it at uh, probably like yeah three o'clock mm. and then got it out by 320 so 20 minutes pretty good and the chips are still crispy I was a bit worried that they'll get a bit um, soggy but um no listen to that crunch really good I was watching First Date the other day, and I was oh. like, oh, so bad. It's like, mm. cringe. I love so First cringe. Dates, yeah. <laughs> so there's this reality TV show where they um, have s- randoms on the show, and it's essentially they meet for the first time, and they have dates, and they document it on TV, and um, some of the lines that the guys pull. I love reality pull, shows, yeah. right? <laughs> some of the lines the guys pull are ridiculous, but it's just it's such good entertainment. It's kind of like Gogglebox. Um, I but, think we'll be good at Gogglebox, too. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should reply. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but um, in terms of weird first dates, no, I remember my first kiss and it was really bad. <laughs> kinda, I remember my first kiss. It was so sloppy. It was like sloppy as big as. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't really want to remember it. <laughs> but um, not really, not really awkward first date. Just, yeah. just odd. But um, what about what about you? <laughs> I had a really awkward date once. Um, it was a blind date, like a, some, a friend of mine set me up with this guy. Um, he was a wonderful guy, like, and all that stuff. See, the thing I don't get sometimes, like, when they pick you up and they come around and open the door for you and then run back around the other side of the car mm-hmm. and then drive, mm-hmm. like, it's great, Cherie, I'm glad to see that, you know, it's still alive and, you know, mm-hmm. he's doing all that stuff for you, but at the same time, it's like, oh my god, it takes so long to just to get into the car and drive, like, <laughs> like, it's almost like you dream. should have appreciated him more. <laughs> I know. Chivalry's dead yeah. now. And then, like when you when we got to the um got to the um, burger joint or the food place, he ran around the car again, opened the door. So I had to sit in the car and wait for him to open my door, and then for, mm. and I have to wait for him to run back run back out. And I was like, oh no. And then the worst thing is, it was already really awkward, right? Mm. And then we went to see uh, the movie Avatar, and I was really worried that he would try to hold my hand so what did you do i was like sitting like this the whole time <laughs> and i shouldn't have picked the movie avatar because it was like three and a half hours so i was getting a really sore back trying to sit like this the whole time so no um chemistry no it was just yeah no it's just awkward hmm. yeah he was a really nice guy though yeah oh i never saw him again <laughs> and he was a gentleman so if you're out there mm, mm, mm. and you're watching this video Tad's really appreciated. <laughs> I do. No, <laughs> normally I do. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Like, things like, would you like a guy to bring you flowers? Yeah. Like, what, what's, what's your deal? Like, what would be a perfect first date for you? <clears throat> perfect first date would be, I'm pretty casual. Like, I don't, I would feel a bit uncomfortable having a really fine dining kind of Are you a uh, movie in a, do you know in a movie kind no, of No, I'm more of like a, do an activity outdoors and then maybe have mm, some good food fun. after. I, I don't know, mini golf's a bit mm, cliche, but mm. maybe even just, I don't know. Indoor rock climbing? Yeah, indoor rock climbing, just in an activity. Mm. Um, and then it kind or of breaks. Yeah. Tracking? Tracking is quite fun. Mm. Or BMX riding. Oh, yes. Like so good it just breaks the ice you're just out of the whole um idea of movie that you know there's just boring kind of <laughs> dates and i don't know and then i think it just just leads on to natural conversation because you're in a new environment and um yeah so i'd like that and then probably some good food after and then mm. um yeah if it goes well then a kiss <laughs> but uh yeah a good w- one though yeah not a sloppy one no <laughs> no yeah that would be my ideal first date Mm. Yeah, I agree with you. I think having something to do definitely um It's so much helps. better, I think. Um <clears throat> cuz when you go to the movies, you don't really talk and if you go to a restaurant when you first meet up, you know, it's so noisy in there. You can't really hear anything and sometimes I think conversations in restaurants are quite superficial like oh what do you do for a living and blah 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 and then you go to the movies and then you don't talk and you just hold hands it's just you don't really get to know the person so that's why an activity is really good Steph it's all about knowing the person yeah that's well right. I suppose it's all the dates are for <laughs> <laughs> what, are, what are your dates <laughs> um my perfect date would be 
I want to do something different. I want someone to um, show me something different, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, like what? And, and, and I guess it is hard. It's not, that's not that many things you can do. Um, like on The Bachelor, it's so cool. You know how they go on to like yachts and stuff and they, I don't know. Have, hmm. Yeah, that's always quite nice. Um, or even at a wine bar, it's quite nice. Mm-hmm. So it's quite chill. Have a glass of wine, have some cheese. Mm, wine bar. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, if, if, if we were to go to movies, I would prefer to go to like, um, like a, like a, not a chain cinema, like a, like, um, like a boutique cinema, if that makes sense. With less seats and more, more intimate. Um, yeah, probably just not the stock stand, you know, cinema, which is kind of boring. Mm -hmm. Um, and what else would you do? Um... Yeah, I'm not sure. It must be hard for a guy. Do you think it's the guy's job to think up of the day? Or do you think this should be a mutual thing? Or do you think, you know... The guy should what? Come up with a date, like... Oh, no way. I think... I mean, if you guys are texting... Throw out suggestions No sexting kids. Yeah, no. Keep it PG. Mm -hmm. PG for now. And classy. And then MA15 class and RA Mm. later, so... Mm. No, the guy should need to feel pressured to come up with the ideas for all the dates. I think that's just a bit. Oh no, not all the dates. Just oh, the just first that first date. date. Yeah, just the first time. Like who, you know, who takes the lead? Oh. Um, mm. It's good in a way to have both people's input, so mm. that way you know the date will go well. I don't know. That's just my opinion, but. What do you think? I like a bit of a surprise though, so I do like him taking the lead. Mm-hmm. And coming up ideas for dates. Mm-hmm. But you're right. Like, I mean, what happens if he takes me to... I, I what if he took you to a fish farm so you could go fish? Yeah, that would be fun. I've never been fishing before. And the chance of catching a fish will be quite high at a fish farm. <laughs> <laughs> Success. <laughs> I'm really sad when your date is all about efficiencies. <laughs> No, it's just pretty boring if you go... I, I imagine fishing is quite boring because you'll be sitting out there for hours and hours and hours. And if you don't get a fish... Yeah. Some people are... Like my dad, he, he loves fishing, but he just never catches anything. But he's just so patient. He mm. he can sit out there on the pier for maybe two to three, even four hours without any fish, but he's, he's still content. So could be quite therapeutic for some people, but... I just couldn't sit out there for four hours waiting for a fish to to take my bait. No. Not unless I get receptionized and watch Korean drama while I'm fishing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's talk about Korean dr- drama. <laughs> In the last couple of months, I've been obsessed with Korean drama. So I was... Like, I mean, I know what it is for ages and ages, but I've just never got into it. Like, I just don't get it. I feel like the stories are always the same. It's always... Yeah, guy and girl, and it's always end up the same way. The so, storyline is the same in, in every single mm. drama. It's either the guy chasing after the girl, and the girl is acting all innocent initially and hating his guts, and then they finally fall in love, but then something happens and they can't get together, and it's just, I find it so frustrating to watch. But <laughs> the start, I can get through probably three to four episodes, but at the, probably the fifth, the fifth is when it starts to get a bit dicey between the two, but, and then... For some reason, the girl finds an excuse to run away and the guy doesn't know what to do and he's frustrated, but he keeps pursuing her. Like, keeps on pursuing her. I don't know. Do you think it's a representation it's of, like, the dating scene in Asia where the the guy is you know what? quite I think so. persistent? Like, I feel like Caucasian or in Australia, guys are not so... They're like, eh, whatever. They're more laid back, but, you know, if you're going to be running away, they're not going to chase after you. No. You know, they're not going to... Maybe it's a things. true reflection of... But it is confusing, scene. though. I have seen a lot of shows where they'll be quite late into the season and then they'll end up saying, oh, let's go, let's date. Or, and then they share a kiss and then that's that's kind of like a lifelong commitment. You know, for us, I think when we have a kiss, it will be a first date kind of thing. Yeah. Not like a lifelong commitment. Oh. <laughs> That's true, actually. <laughs> you know, but then if you think about it, like, I highly doubt the Asian guys go around seeing girls for months and months and months and then not get any like, not, physical not get contact. Any. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. I, like, I'm sure, like, kids these days, mm. 
in Asian or non-Asian cultures are, you know, quite <clears throat> open to things as well. No, try to keep it PG here. No. Oh, kids these days, even when they're kids, in when I was in high school, when they were 13, I heard stories that they were already banging. Oh, but that's here, though. What I'm trying to say is a different oh, in Asia. Asia. Mm. Oh, yeah, 100%. They're more conservative. I would imagine. I don't know. If you're Asian and you and you're out there, please comment below <laughs> and do tell us if you guys are as what Share as, as, story. as liberal as Australian people over in Asia. Let not that we're saying people are loose over here. That's not oh, what no, we're no. saying at liberal, all. Liberal, liberal, <laughs> open to new experiences, <laughs> like rock climbing. Yeah. <laughs> I think we've taken a very dark turn here. Sorry from Korean drama. Mm. <laughs> um, but I get frustrated when the Korean dramas don't end up um, with a happy ending. I just watched one. Uncontro- uncontrollably fond or something. Mm. And he died. I was so upset. Like the next day when I was at work, I was still upset. But how did he die? Uh, he he was terminally ill or something. He's got some See, brain tumor. It's, it's the same. <laughs> Everyone gets sick in Korean dramas. Yeah, either either through a car crash or yeah, or like they get ill and they recover from it. Mm. Yeah, but you know you you got to go through some sort of hardship so that you can see how solid your relationship is. <laughs> That's true. You know, mm. otherwise, oh, I love you. Ah, I love you too. <laughs> and then that's it. Like. Oh, what's the fun in that? Yeah, so there's always going to be some... And I guess that's the way they build the storyline. And fair enough, that's why people are addicted to it, because they just want to see a happy ending. Mm. <clears throat> but yeah, for me, I just I get so frustrated when it's blatantly obvious that the guy and the girl <laughs> like each other, and they just want to kiss each other and just be together. But for some reason... No, they just want to hold hands. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Not kiss, just hold hands. But for some reason, something has to just come in their way and just stop it. But, yeah. Anyway. Mm. I, I did like Descendants of the Sun. So if you're into Korean drama, no offence or anything, I, I do like it, I do appreciate it for the first four to five episodes. After that, mm, I kind of veer off to something else. But uh, But they might take their shirts off after a while. I re- I've worked out a trend usually around the tenth episode. That's when the, the shirt comes off. Every drama, most dramas. Really? Hmm. Hmm. Actually, no. That's um. There's one other show. Yeah, the shirt came off pretty early, like episode four. Was the guy fit? Mm huh. Oh. Oh my god! Hmm? Those like. Movie stars, so ripped. Like, they are, got the best bodies, six foot tall. Korean? Yeah. Oh. I was surprised too. I didn't think Asian guys are. Hmm. Oh, I, mean, I don't know if it, again, I don't know if it represents the general population. And it's probably very bad to look at, like, dramas as a representation of what the local um, yeah, and population just gen- is. and gen- generalise it. That's I mean, we have the same. We have um, Summer Bay. Is it called Summer? Oh, I know. What is it called? What's it? Neighbours. Neighbours. Home and Away. And then Home and Away. I mean, and then most people don't look like them. Yeah, they do. Do they? They need an Asian on that show. Yeah. For sure. I thought they did have one. Do they? Mm. I don't know. Mm. I don't watch it enough. How's your burger? Yeah, it's good. But unfortunately, I've already eaten the entire crab out of the burger. And I've got about half a burger left. So what's left is the... <clears throat> Open it up for them. Is the coleslaw and burger. Hmm. I've still got my burger. This is actually really filling. This... It is. Oh, that's yeah. why I'm slowing down. There's an onion ring in there, and there's there was actually a hash brown in there too. So it's like jamming all these chips in your burger. So I'm stuffed, but I'll finish it. <laughs> you can do it. Mm. Oh, and what about girls who don't eat on dates? Mm. That what I, I always eat. I don't care. Uh, I eat whatever. Mm. Um. 
I would get a steak on a date. It's not a big deal. I don't know. Maybe girls feel a bit self conscious. Some girls feel self conscious eating in front of a a guy, and it takes that bit of time to build um, that level of comfort mm. or confidence in front of them. Mm. I don't know. Some like I don't really think it's a big deal ordering whatever you want. Mm. I think it's just if you feel comfortable around the guy, then be your normal self. And yeah, don't go into the date thinking, oh, what happens if he thinks of um, what happens if he thinks. Uh, I'm a pig I, if I eat this and blah, mm. who cares? Like, yeah. if the guy's worth it, then he'll like you for every part of you, even, you know, if you want to eat a deep fried ham hock <laughs> or, 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 or a steak. I thought you said something else. What? I thought you said if you want to eat a deep. <laughs> I'm going to cut that out. <laughs> yeah, not appropriate. It, it, it's, it's PG here. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. Like, I, I think it's, you know, it's balanced diet, right? So, mm. we might be eating burgers today, but that doesn't mean we're eating burgers every day. Um, so, you eating what you want to eat on the day is not a representation of what you eat every day. Correct. Um, so, you shouldn't judge people based on what they eat on the day. Correct. So, overall, the review is really good. Um, I really like my burger. It's, it's quite spicy. It's got sriracha in it. Um, the soft shell crab was really um, well cooked. Mm-hmm. And as for my drink, I think it's a bit too sweet for me. Um, but it's nice. Mm, my burger was really good, really filling. Avocado, onion ring, hash brown, cheese, lettuce, tomato with a beetroot brioche bun. The chips were amazing. They were really crispy and crunchy. This drink topped it off. Tastes like apple cider. And overall, a really good meal. I am stuffed. I couldn't fit any more in me. But uh, I would definitely order this burger again. Yeah. Mm. Overall, this meal was absolutely fantastic. If you did like our content, don't forget to like our video and subscribe. Keep up to date with our Instagram and also our YouTube channel. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Chu Chow Mukbang. Bye. Bye. <laughs> this is why I'm stopping. So like, <laughs> serious. <laughs>